fishing with Kenny Ketchum today, okay? Yeah, Kenny Ketchum. Kenny Ketchum. Kenny. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay tuned to find it, out. It's, it's good to meet you, good sir. Good to meet you, Bill. Now, I got three other rods set up here. You're more than welcome to use. And, and those, those, these are the basics for, for bass fishing. Because, I, I, I mean, I had my own tackle store. I bet I got $5,000 worth of tackle. Yeah. And the only thing I always use, a crankbait or a fluke or a worm. You know, I don't, I don't think I know what Kenny Ketchum knows. Well, here's the deal. We're about to get into that, Bill. And uh, we're going to show these folks at home. Hey, guys, Kenny Ketchum here. A lot of people write me and ask, hey, Ken, well, what's the best nut? Okay? And I got to tell you, it's the Palomar for me. That's the go-to nut. Okay? What do you think, Bill? What's your... Uh... Oh, Palomar's a good knot if you know how to tie it. Uh, Bill, I got to come clean with you. I don't remember how to tie on the Palomar knot. Actually, just tie it for me, and I'll show the folks at home how okay. I did it. Yeah, okay. Okay. So There you go, Ken. All righty. There we go. Thanks, Bill. Okay, guys. Kenny Ketchum here. What I did was I just tied a Palomar knot really quick. Now, if you want to learn how to tie the Palomar knot, you can subscribe to my uh, DVD collection there. I have a video tutorial that shows the folks at home how to actually tie the Palomar knot. We don't want to actually show them how to do it for free. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, to me, bass fishing is all about the money. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You too? Yeah, absolutely. Now, one of the most important things that I can tell you about bass fishing, uh, actually, Bill, can you tell me something real important about bass fishing? Something real important about bass fishing is that you're quiet when you're on the boat because okay. bass are sensitive to noise. You can listen to music, but if you stomp around or have your tolling motor running too loud, you're going to scare the fish off. Yeah. So one of the most important aspects of bass fishing is you want to be quiet on the boat. You don't want to be stomping around on the boat, scaring the fish there. And In the summertime, the fish try to avoid the, the warmer water and go down where it's cool. They're like us. Okay, hold that thought. Uh, in the warmer weather, the uh, fish will try to go down, uh, what was it again? Go down where it's cool. Okay, hold on. In the warmer weather, the fish try to go down where it's cool, okay, just to keep cool, you know what I mean? And uh, You know, a lot of people think a nice blue sky is a good day. It's not. You want clouds. Um, they call it a bluebird sky, and you get up to go fishing, there's no clouds, especially for bass. It, you know, one of the things I've learned in the years of fishing is, uh, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you got your bluebird skies, it's usually not a good day. You want some cloud coverage, right, Bill? Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it, it, it's uh, the, the, if a front's coming in, um, fish always bite good before a front. Best time to fish, I find, is when a front is coming in. Uh, what is a front? Uh, it's like a storm. Okay. And a front is like a storm. And it's my pleasure to bring you guys the knowledge that you guys need to get on the water and become great fishermen like myself and Bill one day too. Uh, this here is one of my favorite, uh -huh. Zara Spook. One of my favorite lures, the Zara Spook. And let me tell you, when this thing goes down to the, hits the bottom. It's a top. Uh, when, top it, when it when it floats up top, top it just kills them. Yeah. Now this here, oh, wait till I tell you about this. Folks at home, this is a. It's a popper. This is a popper, okay? Now this sucker, let me tell you, it pops it good. Oh yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you pop that rascal and hang on tight. Yes sir, like pop a boner. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Bill, throw that in my tackle box if you don't mind. Sure. You know, that about wraps up this first episode. You know, it's it's very crucial to get these kids on the water too. We gotta get these little kids on the water. Mm. And get them off the drugs and out of, yeah. out of the gangs, yeah. you know? You know, I was in a gang for, you know, first half of my life. I spent, uh -huh. you know, some hard time in prison as well. Okay. You know, and I've come full circle now. Oh, I just learned a lot, Kenny. I just learned things that I, I never knew, and I've fished a long time. I feel fortunate to have spent time with you. You know, I'm just glad that I can teach you these things, Bill. Yeah. I knew when you came on, I said, here's a guy that I can tell doesn't know his stuff, yeah. but I'm going to get him on the water, yeah. I'm going to give him a crash course, yeah. and look what I did with you in yeah. one hour, Man. Bill. I, I got to tell you, I'm excited. Oh, so am I. Folks, that was a great experience. Stay tuned for episode two. Maybe we'll have Bill on for another episode if he's uh, lucky enough, and we'll see what happens, right? All hubba, right, Bill. Hubba, hubba. hubba.